All right, good afternoon, everyone. This is Keith Stellman with the National Weather Service of Peachtree City. This is for the winter weather potential across northern Georgia on Wednesday, uh, February the 19th. Uh, this is obviously today is Tuesday the 18th. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, we are looking at the potential for some snow, potentially mixing with some rain um, across far northern Georgia. We have issued a winter weather advisory for the areas where we believe that accumulating snow is expected. That doesn't mean that we can't um, see some accumulating snow just outside of that, and we'll touch on that during the course of the briefing. But where we're confident, the highest confidence is, is where we've included the winter weather advisory. Um, snow could mix with some rain as far south as I-20 early in the morning tomorrow morning. However, we are expecting surface temperatures to remain above freezing. Um, down in the I-20 corridor so that we would expect impacts to be minimal uh, to negligible um, in that region. So in speaking to the impacts, the primary impacts are going to be roads in the higher elevations uh, that could become snow and ice covered, especially in some of the heavier bursts of snow that are possible with this system as it comes across uh, the region overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Um, areas just outside of the advisory could see snow accumulate briefly on grassy and elevated surfaces, um, especially if it's heavy enough. Uh, we would also see maybe a temperature drop during those heavy snow bursts, we'll call it, uh, but we would not expect any major impacts to occur uh, as a result of that. And then down in the Atlanta metro region, not expecting any impacts, even if we do see some snow mixing with the rain, the combination of both the warm ground temps and the above freezing surface temps um, would negate just about any of the impacts we would see from any snow that does mix in with rain. And there are a few solutions out there that suggest that there might be some of that that occurs early in the morning, tomorrow morning. And the last point, and it's probably more critical given how much rain we've had over the last couple of weeks, there's a lot of runoff still on the hillsides, especially in the, um, um, the, the roads up in the hills. Um, we are expecting really cold air to move in late during the day tomorrow into Thursday night or into Thursday morning. As a result of that and the rain we're gonna get with this system, there could be some black ice and or refreezing possible into Thursday morning uh, as a result of that residual runoff and uh, water that's running across the roadways that we'll have to be uh, uh, mindful of going into Thursday morning. So um, here is the winter weather advisor graphic. Uh, slide again for far northern Georgia it does touch us on the uh, Alabama side. We didn't make any changes. We did. I'm sorry. We did not make any changes to this with this afternoon's package. Uh, snow accumulations near about a half an inch or so, maybe up to an inch, uh, with one inch um, in the elevations above 2,000 feet, uh, maybe 2,500 feet in far northern Georgia. Along with that are some slick roadways. Um, and travel issues uh, to be expected with some of that uh, up in far north Georgia. And that is valid through 1 a.m. Thursday, although I will say the impacts, because we're expecting colder temperatures overnight, Wednesday night, or yeah, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, uh, the impacts on the roadways would certainly linger well beyond when the advisory actually ends. But that is about when the tail end of the precip would be is um, in the over late night Wednesday into early Thursday. So here is the forecast snowfall uh, for Wednesday. And again, you can see it's really confined to far north Georgia. That's what's in our grids um, currently. I drew a line on the screen, a blue line. This is sort of the area in question where there's confidence or lower confidence and potential for some lighter accumulations. Uh, we'll need to monitor that. but. Um, generally speaking, we're talking about everything north of that blue line um, that I've drawn on the screen. So from Rome to Gainesville, um, you guys to the north of that line. The timeline you can see in the graphic in the bottom right, uh, the most likely time window for, tra uh, for, for travel impacts would be 6 to 10. Uh, things would diminish a little bit during the afternoon, but any residual water on the roadways, we would see maybe some impacts late in the uh, afternoon going into the evening hours across far north Georgia pick back up. But uh, we'll have to see how that all plays out. And it really depends on how much we get during the day tomorrow. 
So when I look at the actual probabilities, I'm going to dive into some of the model stuff now. Um, this is the chances of at least 0.1 inches of snow, or we'll call it, you know, a trace to um, negative, like just slightly above uh, trace amounts. The highest amounts you can see are far north Georgia, 70, 50, 70 to 100 percent probability of at least seeing some snow. And um, a lot of that, and if you can look really closely at some of the brighter yellows, they are really hugging along some of the higher elevation and higher terrain. There's this minimum that we typically see sometimes up there in, um, you know, nosing up into Whitfield County um, that happens because there's a little bit of a dip in a valley that's in that region. And then it picks back up with the elevation in North Georgia and Northwest Georgia. So um, obviously the models are trying to pick out some of the higher elevation areas as the primary locations, but it does extend into the valleys. <laughs> and you can see on this graphic here that there are some areas that get into the 40 and 50% just south of what our winter weather advisory area was, 30 to 50% or so, maybe down into the Canton region, over into uh, Cartersville, over towards um, Cedartown. Um, we'll just have to watch that area really closely. It's It doesn't quite meet the winter weather advisory, at least we don't think it will. Um, it doesn't mean that you won't see some snow mixing in, especially early in the morning uh, for that region. And then that extends over towards say Gainesville, um, and maybe over into Homer uh, on the on the north northeast side. Um, when we're getting down in the I twenty corridor, the chances along I twenty are much lower. And when we run through this on a time lapse, the chances are the highest early in the morning. So from like six to ten a.m., uh, six to nine a.m. time window before it changes over to rain, and that's because we're starting to warm up in the lowest layers of the atmosphere. So things would change over to a rain, even if it started as a rain snow mix and early in the day. So um, that's down in the I-20 corridor. Um, when we go up to the higher amounts, so this is chances of at least one inch of rain or one inch of snow, sorry, one inch of snow. You can see that the highest amounts are still confined to far north Georgia, where we have the winter weather advisory. And you can kind of pick out where some of the higher elevations are, where the colors are a little bit elevated. Um, that would be in the 40 to 70% range in the higher elevations of at least seeing one inch of snow, 30 to 50% maybe in the valleys. So you can see that when you get down into Dalton, down um, maybe to LJ, over towards Dahlonega, um, maybe Helen, you guys are in that 30 to 50% range. Um, or at least maybe getting up to an inch of snow. And then far northern metro, again, you're sort of on that cusp, that 20 to 30% chance. And that's only if we see a little bit further southward extent um, to seeing maybe a quick uh, hit of snow up to an inch or maybe slightly over. Again, it's a low probability, but it is non-zero. There are a couple models that try to hint at something a little bit higher. A little bit further south, but you can see even from this, it would be in some of the higher elevation areas of, uh, say, the far north metro counties, uh, say, northern Cherokee, northern Forsyth, northern um, uh, Bartow counties, etc. And then the area that's showing up down in the metro, I just wanted to highlight this in case, it, you know, you happen to see it elsewhere. There was the models that go into this particular forecast, there's 10 of them. And so there was one model run from last night that was trying to show a decent snow amount all the way down into the metro. So the 10% is coming from that one model run of the 10 that's included in this. And so um, the chances are obviously very low further south. We don't have any of the runs that came in today that are suggesting anything down in the metro areas. But I just wanted to throw that that when the when this thing runs, it includes both last night runs and this morning's runs, um, two sets of five, and you end up with 10. So one of them showed a little bit more snow further south. Um, we don't think it would accumulate to anything like this, uh, but certainly 0.1 inches or at least snow mixing in with rain is possible uh, down in the I-20 corridor. So um, let's take a look at one of the models, probably the furthest south solution. This is the one model that showed the furthest south last night. It was again showing the furthest south today's run. 
what you're looking at on the left hand side is a 7 a.m. through 4 p.m. loop. You can see some of the snow working into northwest Georgia early in the morning. And then you'll see glimpses as it moves across the metro um, area. So maybe some spots where some snow mixes in with some rain early in the uh, early in the forecast process. So again, can't roll it out down in the metro, but temperatures are going to be in the mid 30s. And so we wouldn't again expect not much to uh, to happen with that. Uh, whereas you can see a lot of the snow is really confined to far north Georgia. And again, we'll have to watch some of the counties that are on the edge of that advisory and whether or not we do to expand it. And that would be like Bartow, Cherokee, Forsyth, maybe Hall County, and you folks that are certainly on the on the southern edge of that advisory area um, for, for possible expansion. We'll just have to see how things are playing out. Um, on the right hand side, I just did some screenshots uh, sort of highlighting for you the, the, the time frame 7, 10 and 1 p.m. sort of high, showing where this particular model is, is suggesting that some snow could be falling uh, through the late morning, early afternoon hours. Um, but again, temperatures are not expected to be um, at any place where it would accumulate, except for far north Georgia, where we have the advisory. So moving on to the next model, this is uh, another model, and this one is more typical of the other ones that we were looking at. You can see um, this one starts at um, 6 a.m., the very first frame. And so it is also indicating snow maybe moving into northwest Georgia from 6 to 7. Um, this one actually goes through 2 p.m. and it cuts it off a little bit sooner. Um, but for the most part, it is a rain uh, with rain snow mix. You can see there was one frame in West Georgia near uh, Floyd County, maybe down into Harrelson, where it was indicating maybe snow. And that would be at the onset. And again, that's some of that stuff early in the period. There is that brief period where we could see snow at onset on the southern extent of where we're talking about before it changes to all rain. But the primary focus is going to be across far north Georgia. Um, here is the worst case, best case um, that is coming out of the probabilities that based on our forecast. And again, you can see from, from the uh, reasonable worst case, that would be where it actually snows all the way down to I-20. And then obviously some of the accumulations that are showing up in far north Georgia. And then on the right hand side would be best case, this would be basically zero, meaning we get mostly rain. And so there's 10% of the guidance that's giving us nothing. Um, and then there's, um, or 90%, sorry, 10% that's giving us nothing and 10% that's giving us uh, this higher, higher end amount on the left hand side. So what is in our forecast? This is what's in our forecast from 6 to 10 a.m. Um, you can see the pink area is a mix of rain and snow with mostly all snow across far north Georgia on the top left. We go to the middle graphic. You can see it's mostly confined to the one, maybe two counties um, from the Tennessee line uh, in north Georgia. And then on the far right, on the top right, on the back side, as a lot of the system is exiting and the colder air is starting to sneak in from the northwest, <clears throat> we may go to a more snow showery type situation across far north Georgia late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. And um, this is when we would expect travel impacts to potentially start occurring in the higher elevations as the temperature starts to fall tomorrow evening. And I've got a graphic for that here coming up in a second. So here's our temperature forecast, uh, starting at 7 a.m. on the left and 10 a.m. on the right. And you can see for the most part, our forecast is for temps to be above freezing. However, the one caveat here, and we've uh, seen this in the past, if it is actively snowing, it is possible that temperatures may drop one to three degrees below what you see on the screen um, while the snow is actively falling. And that's just a simple, um, a result of the snow being ice and ice being less than 32 degrees and it's cooling the atmosphere as it's falling. And so in that temporary moment when it's actually snowing, the temperature falls uh, with the snow. So um, a lot of the models don't handle that when they're computing temperature guidance. So just keep that in mind that we could see some temps down around 30 to 32 uh, when it's actively snowing. But as you can see, 
all the way down in the I-20 corridor, we're in the mid and upper 30s. And so even if we did have snow mixing in uh, down this far south in the 20 corridor, it would not be impactful. Fast forward to 10 a.m., similar thing. We're getting a slow warm up, but again, if it's actively snowing, you could probably subtract a few degrees from this and, um, and have temperatures mostly above freezing. There may be some of the higher elevations that remain below freezing, but most of the valleys and everywhere else were expecting temps to be primarily above freezing. That would even be in the case where it's actively snowing. Fast forward to noon and 7 p.m., and I picked those times because from noon to about four, we actually slightly warm up above what you see here. And so most areas get close to around 40 degrees during the afternoon hours. Um, we'll just have to see how that plays out and how much uh, snow actually falls in the morning, especially across far north Georgia, um, before we actually start to see a pretty good drop off after about six or seven o'clock. Once the sun goes down, uh, temperatures are gonna fall off pretty rapidly. And because of that, that's why we introduced that black black ice threat tomorrow night into um, Thursday morning. So you can see temperatures across far north Georgia falling back below freezing at or below freezing by seven o'clock or so. And then fast forward that into Thursday morning. Um, here are the min temps for Thursday morning. You can see middle 20s well down into middle uh, uh, central Georgia. Uh, with teens and to near 20 across far north Georgia. And that obviously is going to cause a refreeze issue uh, for you folks up there. So your travel impacts, while it's actively snowing tomorrow, may not be that uh, impactful. I would expect them to be uh, problematic going into Thursday morning with anything that's left um, because of how cold it is up there Thursday morning. Um, minimum uh, wind chills Thursday morning, uh, 5 to 10 degrees across a good chunk of the area north and west of 85. So Thursday morning is going to be really cold with that colder air that's filtering in. And um, I didn't put on here the highs for Thursdays uh, for Thursday afternoon, but Thursday afternoon highs are probably going to not make it out of the 30s uh, for uh, much of the area, maybe touching into the 40s across middle Georgia. But uh, for far north Georgia, you folks may not get much above freezing during the day Thursday. So anything that's up there will probably stay there all the way into Friday. Um, and again, I've highlighted the area, far north Georgia, anything in the middle 20s and um, uh, below is uh, at risk for that black ice or refreeze uh, going into Thursday. Into Friday morning, uh, here are the min temps. You can see teens to near 20, pretty much area wide. Lower teens, even uh, maybe getting down to 10 degrees across uh, extreme part of North Georgia with uh, wind chills in the zero to five degree range across the northern counties, 10 to 15 down in the I-85 corridor and um, basically in the teens all the way down into middle Georgia. So even into Friday morning, it's going to be pretty cold going into uh, uh, going into the weekend. So. <clears throat> Wraps up the briefing again, just to touch on the main points, winter weather advisory. Um, stay tuned for any potential expansion. If we did, it would only be maybe to the counties just barely touching uh, the advisory area, but that's not um, for certain. We may ultimately issue a special weather statement for you as well, depending on how, how things evolve. Uh, we could see snow mixing in as far south as I-20 early in the morning. Again, not expecting any impacts with that. And then lastly, um, black ice refreeze potential into Thursday morning. I want to make sure I touch on that because of how cold it's going to be. So we'll conclude this briefing. I think we probably will send an email uh, out overnight uh, going into the early morning hours, but we're not doing any additional special webinars.